enter a lobby full of stacked players. Sometimes yeah. things don't go your way. And then the Lou, the Lou victory. So we'll see. We'll see if I can also predict this victory as well. So we'll see. Just I, I, I got a, I got a tweet from Miss Rage, and she said, "Please predict our victory." <laughs> Miss Rage, there you go. Miss Rage, you got this, girl. She's like, okay. Uh, no Shredamos. Wait, I mean, you're not Fortnite, so I'll, I mean, I'll give you a top five. <laughs> I'll give you a top five. <laughs> there you go. There you oh, have it. Boy. And now the battle bus is launching. Now we get yeah. to see where players go. Lots of people dropping. So depending on the angle, you're going to see a lot of people going south from that battle bus because it's a pretty far north one. Um, so that's a fun thing about battle buses is it adds a lot of extra strategy elements. Mm -hmm. um, but for me personally, I really do enjoy watching the back of the battle bus, seeing how many players are dropping, kind of seeing what angles that they're headed towards, and then making my decision off of that. Um, but everyone that's jumping out now, so you can kind of see uh, the bottom right corner. There's a lot of people that are they're looking around furiously. These yeah. guys did not have a chance to see uh, the initial battle bus drop. They want to make sure that they know exactly how many people are playing in the zone that they're playing so they're not caught off guard. Man, Paradise is about to be a hot spot. I mean, even look I at Tilted. I think they're headed to uh, the... the Pueblo? The South Town. Yeah, yeah, what is that called? Uh, you, you know, I call it Pueblo. A lot of pe Some people... people call it... Uh, Case houses, uh, Case houses, Western Town. Okay. I love I love the design of it personally. Oh, I just I think love it's it. just it's a fun little place to be. There's also so much loot there. You just land and there's like a chest yep. in just about every uh, little house. <laughs> it's the best place ever. It's the best. Well, not the best. Well, I mean, I, I love Kitty Island, but we'll we'll talk about that. Later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm biased. Freaky goes down oh, though. We're just talking about that. So maybe it's not the best place to land. If you're not landing on top of that shotgun, this is a very punishing place for that. If you're not landing on that gun, you're relying on one of those uh, chest houses. You're gonna be in. You're gonna be in some. Some doo doo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a Nostradamus prediction there. Uh, so now we're over to reflection and Billix. Uh, any predictions, Kitty? Are you seeing anything? I mean, these guys have consistently done well so far. You haven't seen them putting up any big points, but I mean, we've we've been seeing a lot of great plays by them. So I mean, but High Cell, like those guys again, they have done an amazing job. So having these two teams going against each other this early, we might see them either get aggressive or decide to be. Oh. Yep, he has an RPG. So I don't see why these guys would choose not to fight <laughs> in this situation. Yeah, it's not uh, this not ever what you want to engage on. You're like, hey, it's early game. Let's take some fights. That guy's got an RPG. Well, okay, uh, reassess everything. Oh, it's a corner. Just went down. Uh, one thing that you have to recognize is is great. Oh, when they're getting third party, that's yeah. These guys are looking for that opportunity. They know that Vilix is low now, and they'll probably be making a move on him. So what Vilix is doing is really smart. So. Sandwiching happens a lot in this game. Mm -hmm. So what you want to make sure to do is you're the bread. You never want to be the meat in the sandwich, okay? Because when you have two pieces of bread coming in from both sides, that is when you're going to have the lowest advantage. So he, for a second, oh, okay. <laughs> I, like the, I like to see it. So Vilix was in a bad position. He was at the center of the fight. He had lots of people shooting from either side. So what he did was just remove himself during that. And so what you're doing is you're promoting the team that has the advantage on you to instead take out the other team that has an advantage on you. Mm -hmm. So that's, some, that's, a, that's a great strategy. Oh. And, oh, well, hate to see it. Powder. <laughs> I feel like, wait, wait, wait. Last time we spectated rules early game, okay. we saw him get shotgun too. We, we, oh. came, in, we came into the spectating <laughs> and he got one. Uh, so. Well, uh, also Vermax uh, there as well. Beautiful. Uh, they, they got, uh, yeah. <laughs> Heisel and uh, Ju, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, you know. Yeah, they do finish that, that fight off. There's well. eliminations happening pretty much everywhere right now. Yeah. And now, look, even Lucky landing, there was some action being had. So, yeah, you do, like I said, a lot of these players do land and like to land on the, like, outside areas. Get your foundation. But the thing about landing in the outside areas is most people land in the outside areas. So, yeah. as much as you're not looking for fights, you're going to find them. Over to Lazy and Sieba here, who are engaged. Against another player, it's Yarl. Yarl. Wow. Oh boy, you don't want to be fighting Yarl here at the start of the game. Literally a raid boss to begin. You're like, hey, let's play Fortnite. Raid boss. Ah. These guys have no resources to work with. They do have that jump pad and they have a flat if they wanted to place it, but I don't. I don't see uh, Yarl having that many resources this early either. There are a lot of trees around this area, but and they don't even really have much has, in the way well, of ammo. He has ammo one weapons. SMG bullet. Wow. All right, three bullets, oh, two, using one. Using that gray attack. Uh, oh. Lazy trying to disengage, dual pistols. He took a big shot. No shotgun I, ammo. 
I'm not sure why he dropped those steel pistols. Sometimes those are very strong in these situations. They're actually like more potent than a shotgun. Wow. If Great you job. can hit your shots at close range. Yes. Yeah. They're they're amazing. And they're they're really fun to use too. Like they, they just all of a sudden the person just is, Disappears. <laughs> just disappears. <laughs> like, goodbye. That's it. Let's check yeah. out this replay from Heisel. So this was going in. That was their elimination. Oh, how, so how many limbs do those guys? I think we watched a couple. Oh, uh, that those. was a replay. So oh, okay, I believe that okay. was just their first set. Yeah, yeah. And now Marwana and Incline. Oh, Marwana is down. Don't like to see it, especially when you get someone down to seven. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Wait, and he's he... like, he has a res <gasps> red yeah, You have to get, get Marwana now. I think he got it. Th yeah, yeah. Marwana's still okay. <gasps> wow, Marwana had like. So this two is HP. really risky. If this teammate, like he's he's definitely that, that looking. Oh, he got it. Oh. No way. Oh my gosh. So Q, if you are Q Sanity's teammate right now, you are not happy. You are not happy that that was allowed to happen. Um, as teammates, you should be playing oh. at close enough range. They had the advantage on the team, but they were just too separated. And Marwana is... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> He's probably crying tears of joy right now. I'd be like, Inclyde, your teammate of the year. I mean, Inclyde yeah. commits to the revive, gets it off, and then immediately as he's coming in, it puts the wall so he's going to be okay, and they turn the whole situation around. Yeah. That was, that was, a, great, that was a great play by them, for sure. Now back over to Pueblo, a.k.a. Uh, every other place that Kitty called this place additionally. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, so this is, this is how things went down, right? So this, oh, this is one was, sanity, yeah. Yeah, when they both had fire. Like, yeah. you're just in a bad position yeah. in that situation. These guys are probably f feeling pretty hyped up after the, <laughs> the revival. I feel like yeah. I would be too. If that was me, I'd be like, yes, <laughs> be like, you're yeah, winning this buddy, game. You're the best teammate ever. <laughs> that's what I would be. <laughs> like, that, that's one of those situations where you're like, you're coming to my uh, wedding. You're the yeah. best man or, yeah. or bridesmaid or whatever. Well, providing they get some of the prize money, you know. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> They're like, we did this, but you also have if to win. If we turn this into the comeback of the century. Can you imagine? Yeah. That would be unbelievable. But over to Sops and Nems. They are near Garvin Gus. Garvin going down. They're rushed. All right, so I, I, I always watch the kill feed. I guess oh, I, yeah. as a player, that's one of the most important important things that you can do because it does show a kill feed for people that are kind of in range of you too, which is important to recognize. So you can use that as a tool to see the teams that have landed in the general area. And ooh, Jarl pushing up, coming off a of victory on Kinstar and Hunter. And but those two are sitting on when they have the, the full health and the full shield. Yep. Like, those are raid bosses, you yeah. really? You but don't. No two times multiplier. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> don't forget they did lose that two times multiplier. That's okay. They've had time to reset. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be back they're in the game They're now. feeling confident again. They're going for that next one. Ooh, and Miss Rage, who asked earlier for the prediction. Let's hope that they make it out of this. But look, Mitro is also close by. There's a huge engagement happening And they're here. making a lot of noise, too. That's definitely something that you have to consider as players. When you're when you're fighting for too long, you know that there's going to be other players in the area that are going to take advantage of that and push in to try and uh, maybe catch you off guard, like what you're seeing happening now. That's another team that's coming in to the area. This rage is being sandwiched. So we have Mitro on it. top. We have five different people inside the warehouse. Seiko Taga is also joining the fray. You've got the likes of Fuchs and his teammate here. Miss Rage, though, hanging on to life. She just goes down. Oh. That in itself and is impressive. And they just finished right away. She was fighting like four people all at and once. I mean, that building is really difficult to fight in. You've got all those yep. rafters up above. You've got the double level. And so just, I mean, if I was in that situation getting out of out of that area. Sometimes you can use it to your advantage, but you're really, you're, you're risking a weird fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Scrib picks up the shockwave grenades. And look Goodness at that mini-map. Look at all the different teams oh, that are in here now. We've got two coming in from the north, two coming in from the south. We got two actually sitting in the other warehouse, and we still have three different people in here. That's right. Oh, that's, so that is Mitro. So it looks like they're taking it easy. They don't. They're choosing not to engage in that interior fight. They yeah. have plenty of opportunities, so they're choosing probably. That's going to be a little messy. Yeah, they don't really want to take that. No. They're like, oh, there's no need. Powder though, being aggressed on <laughs> right now. M11. Uh, going down. Oh, all right. So he just walks up and just cheek. <laughs> Wow, I, I like to call those uh, disrespectful. You just like kind of walk up and you like put the wall and you're like, nah, bruh, nah, I'm just gonna, I'll just take your stuff. Deleted. And control, alt, delete, you're out of the game.
But yeah. Toma there and Tixi, one of them is getting revived. Kaz on fire, still left alive up top. <laughs> He's got nothing, though. Hey, guys. Maybe, hey. maybe they'll, just, they'll think this. Oh, he just built it. Sometimes hiding in towers that are already there is a is a strategy in itself because people will think that you're not in it, especially when you're sitting on 22 health. You want to be going for those third-party plays, hopefully uh, getting the finish and then getting their <laughs> health and uh, uh, shield. That's right. Oh. Daytrain, oh, this looks Jules. like a fun <gasps> area to be. Oh! 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 No way! Jules! So Dang. Daedra goes down, but Jules says not today, friend. And Mazda, who is the winner of the first game. That's ooh, right. With two. Ooh, ooh. So he's going to go. I think he's definitely going for the finish. You think he, so? He wants, he wants the high ground. He wants that finish. But, I mean, if he goes for the finish, he's going to be. <laughs> How far are those shots coming from? Those are far. Who, who I wants believe, a piece of that? Yeah, they're like, hey, uh, stop moving. We want a third party this. I think he is he sticking it. Oh, he <gasps> Jules did stick it. There so you go. So Master choosing not to spam it um, allowed Jules actually to get the the full revive on him, oh, and look. and right into bandages. Oh. So this this is not a great situation for Masta. He is down his teammate. He's going to be going up against a duo, and he has shots coming in. From afar. Oh, okay, okay. So look, you've got Kinstar and Hunter. They're in Salty. The Gen side duo, they're coming up from Corrupted Zone. They both have uh, the Shadow Stones active, so they're like moving right now. Oh, they have the Shadow So okay. Yep. That's even an even worse situation. <laughs> yes. But he does have that Rift. So at any point, Master can choose, okay, this isn't a fight that I have the advantage. Um, definitely using Rifts this early uh, is not... <gasps> oh, wow. Nice save. Oh. Wow. Wow. I like to see it. Yeah. Or do I? Maybe I like to see people <laughs> take fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Nostradamus, I don't know. Uh, You're the one making the predictions. You tell me. I, I I love seeing fall damage. There it is. Okay, I figured. I think, I mean, it's just kind of like, ooh. <laughs> it's it's kind of one of those like, uh, it's, like, it's, ooh, please. it's it's like a, you feel bad, but it's also kind of like, all right. So those guys must have taken out whoever was on top of the warehouse who was sitting low with 22 health, because I don't see them on anywhere on the area with uh, Gotaga. But oh, back to back to Jules. So they're they're still. I mean, okay, full health and full shield. After that revive, Jules really took care of him. <laughs> yeah, he he is a raid boss now, and if your master is sitting on top of these two, you're you're, you're considering your options. Yeah, you're like, yeah. uh, you know what? Look, let's just wait. Let's let more people come in. You guys find it out. I will look to third party at that point. Ooh, but over oh, to we got Kenzo a hill fight. Uh, Rojo. Uh, Jarl is just above them. Oh yeah, he sees them. He's like, hey, we got two bogies down below. Uh, what do we do here? <laughs> well, and he's like, Whoa. well, you're Jarl, so I don't know. What do you want to do? Ooh, the likes of <gasps> Keeksy and Toma had six, six eliminations. Already. And we've got 52 left in the lobby still. That's right. Could this be the 18? Oh, <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> well, keep in mind they're eliminated. Uh, but High Styled has four eliminations. So uh, Yuke's duo combined has four eliminations. We haven't talked very much about Tixi, but he's actually an amazing player that comes out of Belgium. And he's labeled as the most aggressive player in the game. In and the right game. now, nobody else has more than 30 plus uh, elimination games in solo versus squads. And he has the world record with 43. Whoa. So, wow. I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't seen him uh, that notable on the leaderboard yet. But it, apparently, he's come online now with five eliminations already with half the lobby left. Yeah. So, Yay. it's, it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe it's the 18. Oh, maybe. That's all Kitty wants to see at the end of this is 18 elimination game players. A little players. bit of fall damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 18 eliminations oh, of fall damage, boy. but oh, Kinzel finds one. Now yeah, Jarl's teammate. Ooh. And now it's just Jarl here against the likes of Rojo. Now Jarl builds up high, but one of them. Oh. Okay. That is not a gun you want to hear. <laughs> Again, man, mini guns. Really good yeah. at taking down structures. And Jarl just doing everything he can. He gets a shot at point blank range. And down goes Rojo now. He commits. Okay. We got 1v1. Now, where's Kinzel, though? Kinzel is trying to close in as well. Look at this on the so other side. <gasps> the window That's peak. That's really amazing enough. edit play by Kinzel. And uh, the thing with that is you know your teammates uh, 
supplies. Mm -hmm. So he knew that there was a big pot and there was a med kit. And if he gave him any time, he was going to be able to get those off. So he wants to take advantage of that opportunity by finishing it early uh, right after that fight. So I think that, that was very, very well played by Kozo. Oh, and Kotaga just got sniped. We missed that. Ooh. He goes Sorry, down. Kotaga. We're back over to Windwalker. So this only. is a fun little spot for them. They're up on the, I think people call this oh. poker chips and a bunch of different names, but he's sitting on oh, top poker with chips. a heavy <laughs> and he's got that nice zone line just right out in front of him. He can just peek down, try and get those shots. And those heavy sniper shots, they hit hard. Yeah. They hit really hard. And so if he gets even a body shot with that, that's 150 health off that player. And... Looking at the players around them, there's a few with 200 health, but a lot of them are sitting below that mark, so that's a knock. Look how many people. Look, I mean, Kitty, we saw 46 players left in the lobby. And I mean, take a, even uh, a look so at the mini to map. Get heated yeah. up. This is my favorite time of the game. So if you if you survive <laughs> to this part of the game, this is definitely where it gets fun. I think like you've, you've made the first circles. Now you're really going to start seeing a lot of players. You're going to start seeing a lot of building and you're going to have to navigate throughout that. And the storm is going to dictate what happens. <laughs> Almost with the shot there. So we got 40 seconds till the storm starts coming in. Kinstar and Hunter still very much alive. Even the likes of Ghost Camo and Steelbree. Ukes is down below. I think Ukes might be by himself. Uh, Heisel is still alive. High style. Don't I forget, think we did lose Tixi. Bunch of eliminations. Did we? I think I just looked at the leaderboard and I think Tixi is down. I'm not sure what uh, how many eliminations they ended up with, but they definitely made it into that. Was it the five or the? I think they made it into the six. So they've got two points going right. into the next game, but they are down. Yes. Yep. Six Tixi points. is down. They did have six eliminations. So they got two points. That's I pretty mean, good. that's definitely. Uh, well, we just saw the leaderboard earlier. That's going to put them in a pretty nice spot moving into the rest of the games, but. Mm -hmm. High style still has four eliminations. Uh, Mops has three, so again, I mean, we're, we're very close. A lot of players haven't even hit the first elimination of Red Bull, but again, 45 players left, so we'll see and that happen. the night is young. <laughs> yeah, the night is young. <laughs> Over to Wedge. In oh. this game, you wanna, so there's a lot of decision making too. What people really don't wanna do in this situation is get worried about the amount of uh, eliminations and then make bad plays about it. You want to make sure that you're moving with the zone. You're not you're not getting too stressed out because there is so many limbs available later game. Right. Uh, and is it Schwetzke? Schwetzke? <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm not sure about that one. But his teammate just got knocked as they were making the play for the zone. And that was a late, a pretty late play for the zone. Annie going down to Diju. Oh, and finally Schwetzke just went down. So they must have had really nice positioning on those guys moving in for the zone. And I didn't see a lot of building on their part in terms of uh, preventing that. Often you'll see players now make little fortresses on the run. <laughs> on the run. <laughs> to get into the zone. So oh, we have Heisel. Exploded. Uh, Heisel has, oh, as a team they have five. And he just went down. So he has three eliminations before going down fully. But his teammate, Diju, with two. So if he's able to get one more elimination now, that's going to put them at that uh, six mark. As you said that, they were eliminated. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Nostradamus, too powerful right now. We're going to have to nerf her. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to take care of this. <laughs> oh. I'll talk to the guys at Epic. Oh. Uh, Mops, though, I mean, take a look. Four eliminations. Even the Method Rasmussen and Rush, they also have four. So pretty good. They've got one point on the board. I mean, yeah. 34 players left, Kitty. This. Like and you well, said, we had a few others young. who aren't alive currently who played more of an aggressive game for those early four points, I believe. So there's a uh, that leaderboard is just showing the people that are still alive and how many frags they have for eliminations. Um, so yeah, keep in mind there are a few people who are getting you know a couple points, which is nice for them. Um, but the thing about this is you and your duo really have to work together to get quite a few. Limbs. Like to get those points, eight limbs is a lot of limbs in a lobby like this. Um, so yeah, this is this is the ch this is the time. This is the time. This is the time right now where you're going to see a lot of players making those edit plays, uh, making sure they've got their comfortable little foundations, um, and again having to move. Whoa! Ooh, you just Jules takes down Isma and his duo partner on, but he just hops down and secures both of them. And this is Kinzel who's. 
No teammate. Solo player now. It's up to him to get those points. Oh, Jules is down. He's got great movement, but he's got those two players underneath him. Oh, Steel Bree going down, Windwalker going down, and oh, Jules did get By Ken Star. And Mitro of goes down people. too. 21 players left. Mitro's not going to be in the top five today. That's uh, Demigod. Do we have to downgrade him, or is he still Demigod? <laughs> He's back down a legend. I'm okay. sorry. Back down a legend. Got it. This is, again, Kitty Play. Oh. She's no Stramas. She sees the future. Yeah, yeah. That's why we brought oh, her in. That's a nice little spot. Oh, but oh. they know exactly that some, someone's sitting in here. Kinsar and, and Hunter. And every time he backs up to try and make sure that he's uh, building properly, he's going to take a tick of storm damage. Yeah. So that's, it's a great spot to be in when nobody else knows you're in it. But. <laughs> <laughs> AKA, I don't want to be there. All right, so we see uh, Kinstar and Hunter already making these plays. I love when I see players uh, taking the time to start planning their move with the zone. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of zone you get. You're going to get the zone. It's going to happen. And if it's not in your favor, uh, taking time to make plays like this and uh, utilize it the best as possible. So already making the move now. Uh, as the zone moves, they move. And they know someone. someone's doing the same thing below them. They're I'm sure waiting. they hear the footsteps. They want to make sure that they have that advantage. I, I think I saw some minis there, which... Uh, you know, they have, he has 10. That's a nice... Like, oh, okay. I was going to yeah. say, that's a nice little find if you're just roaming through a house yeah. on your way. <laughs> oh, minis! <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, thank you. He doesn't even pick up the wood, which l makes me believe he's probably he's definitely stacked. maxed out, yeah. yeah. And, and Mop's sitting nice, too. I mean, a lot of these guys still have a lot of resources. And that's a nice thing about when you're having to push through a city like this, when you're having fights where there are trees, there are rocks, there are walls that you can take down as you're going, it's less likely that you're going to be sitting in that position with the, you know, seven, eight, nine, you know, where you just have just not enough to make yeah. any wall. <laughs> right. You literally have like one or two less, and you're like, man, if I could build a wall here. <laughs> this would be great. If, if I, I just hit like a, a, a shrub Yeah, one on the shrub. Way. I literally need one wood for one wall. And that can be the difference maker in this fight, too. Mm -hmm. That's right. Especially with the double barrel, which we just heard. Um, if you're able to protect against one of those shots, it puts you in a position of advantage while they're taking the time to reload. Um, so, yeah, these guys have, uh, I, I wouldn't say a lot of ammo, but enough to decide that spamming is the right decision here. Uh, you see the person that they're up against making those edits to get out of the zone. And here, this is this is the ed this is the duo work at play. You see, one teammate is going for that elimination, while uh, Ken Star was looking towards making a nice little base for them in the new zone. That's right. He's like creating <laughs> he's a new like, tunnel. I will create he's like, the come, home. Come. You just need to come here in a little bit. We yeah. must move to safety. Ooh. And again, they had uh, how many eliminations? They have currently six. Mops yeah. and Thevs so also have six. So two is six. Yes. Uh, remember, guys, Kitty said 18, so you guys <laughs> have game. to get I mean, every today, today. single... Oh, okay. Today, today. Okay. Today. <laughs> That's not possible. Not possible. I They'd think, also I have to eliminate themselves. I think we might need Teeksy themselves. alive. I think we might need Teeksy alive for That's that That's fair. One. That's fair. Now we're moving into the final few zones. 12 players left alive. And again, I mean, if Kinstar and Hunter can pull out another either eight eliminations or victory Al, they're going to activate that multiplier. And uh, we even see Mops and Dead, so Mox... They only need two as well, so they could even activate the multiplier. Oh, that's exciting. It's coming down to the wire. So you definitely see these guys making decisions now. When you see 12 alive, you know that that top five, I believe, top five spot is going to get you uh, a point. You know, top three is going to get you two, and that Royale is going to get you three. So when you see 12, you know, okay, we could probably have a few solos, um, but we're getting really close to getting that point. And you're going to see players playing a little bit differently because of that. Mm -hmm. um, there's an ebb and flow of push for a limbs, uh, try and get that top five. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it looks like Ooh. it is all duos that Kinsar remain. Kinsar has two jump pads right now and Max Wood. Yeah, he also has two uh, big pots, yeah. 10 minis, shotguns. He's got slugs forever. I mean, he, if he gets in close range of battle, he's good to go. So we've actually, we've got six teams. Oh. And just like that, we lost a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people. I was going to say, so we've got a top six, but now we are down, I believe, to top five. Nine. Currently nine players, so we're near. Trying to see how many teams are alive. Oh, I see what you're saying. Two, three, four, five, six, I think. Six duos. Oh, that's easier. One, oh, two. Six teams left. Oh! So it was six, now it's fifth. So, oh, okay. What just happened to Wakesi? 
we're we basically are going to a heal off ooh, right now. Ooh, wait, ooh. it's Hunter. Kinstar. No, wait. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh my gosh. They wait. might actually have Kinstar's it. Kinstar's going for a kill. <gasps> Kin oh, they oh, sent. Oh. Wait, no, Hunter. I think is still. Is oh he in trouble? Gosh. Kinstar. Where's he the player? Just canceled the heal. Oh. So that Hunter, Hunter had a could second man. The heal off. Did you see that? No How way. How did you find him in that build in the store? Oh. oh, oh okay. Listen, guys. Oh, the close up. Hunter's like.